especially those of you who find your body is not integrated enough, such people should walk barefoot. The key points in your body must be in touch with the earth. For one who is on a spiritual sadhana, particularly on those days, what is available on the planet is phenomenal. Namaskaram Sadhguru, what is the significance of walking barefoot? Also, is there additional physical and spiritual benefits of walking barefoot on Amavasya and Shivaratri days? Recently, somebody said this just a week ago or ten days ago. This was uh, published because, you know, M.F. Hussein died. You know this? You know M.F. Hussein, the artist, died. So, one of his most recent interviews which he did with a famous or a well-known anchor in this country, Hussein died in London at the age of ninety-two. Ninety-two. He remained very active and energetic till the last day. So what is the secret? This… I think this interview was taken just three months before his death. What is the secret of your longevity, energy and health? He said just two things, eat less, walk barefoot. Do you know this has been an issue with him? There have been many controversies where he was not allowed into certain very elite clubs barefoot, but he always insisted he walks barefoot. So, for him to live long and healthy, this is the recipe he gave, eat less, walk barefoot. <laughs> it was very amusing for me to hear him say that. <laughs> Right now, a new range of footwear is becoming very popular in the United States, which is called as barefoot, where the shoes are made with this, uh, you know, just like the feet, very thin, some kind of special synthetic material which makes it feel like you're walking barefoot, that it doesn't feel like a thick sole, almost barefoot for running shoes, climbing shoes, regular walking shoes, all kinds called barefoot. It's nice that you're asking this question just now. So what is the significance of barefoot? Especially those of you who find your body is not integrated enough, constantly it's troubling you. Such people should walk barefoot. It'll be nice if you can crawl. More contact, I mean. <laughs> this is why you prostrate. What do you think is the purpose of taking a dip in the temple pond and going and prostrating? Inside, that everything in your body comes in touch. This is what Sashtang means, that the key points in your body must be in touch with the earth. For one who is on a spiritual sadhana, particularly on those days, Shivaratri, Amavasya and the next day after that, those three days, what is available on the planet is phenomenal. And it's also a reminder for you to intensify your sadhana on that day, not missing the opportunity of what is there. So on that day, walking barefoot, every day there is benefit, but on those days there is a particular kind of benefit, which is not only for physical health, but also for spiritual well-being also for creating 
the necessary momentum in the system for an upward movement. You can't cut off your legs, so just the shoes for those three days, it'll be good to do that.